How many of you know the story of Raman? Do you know? Raman finished the MA class at the age of 19. Okay? He wrote his first paper in Nature when he was 19 years old. Published it. Raman realized that if he became a scientist, he wouldn't get enough money. So, went and wrote this examination to become an auditor general. So, he passed the civil service exam and became auditor general. And he was working in Calcutta uh, as a civil servant for eight years, nine years. Then, he went to the director of the cultivation of sciences, who was next door. He's a become a college now. And said, give me a place to work here. I'll win the Nobel Prize in five years. This guy was a very clever guy. 1920, he published a paper in Murudangam, Science of Murudangam. Then he realized that if he worked on Murudangam, he won't get a Nobel Prize. So he shifted his area, went into spectroscopy. He went and did this work, and his research was not supported by anybody. He will make Petromax gas, make some money, his salaries will save, buy a property, sell it for high, he was very good in real estate selling, sold it, the money gained, he invested into research. So the work for which he was given the Nobel Prize, the Raman spectrometer, which is sitting there in Cultivation Science in Calcutta, was built at the cost of 75 rupees, with his own money, personal money. The reason he won the Nobel Prize was there was no DST at that time. If it is a DST, then peer committee would not say, ah, so they won't fund. So he went ahead, put his own money, and did this. 1928, February, he sent his paper up for publication. The guy who did the PhD work was K.S. Krishna, related to me. He was a PhD student. He observed it on the 27th of February, 1928, in the evening. And left a notebook to his boss, Raman, that he had observed it. And he went home late, student went home late. So he came back into the morning, little later, beyond later time. Raman went and wrote the paper to Nature before he came back on 28th of February 1928 and said, I observed this. Before Krishna came back, Raman sent his paper away. And it is your science day, the 28th of February 1928. The 20th February is the science day because it has communicated nature on that day. And the guy was so, so confident, he booked the ticket for getting Nobel Prize in 1929. One year before Nobel Prize was announced. The Nobel Prize was given in 1930. He booked his ticket in 1929. So he went to the Nobel Prize in 1930. It was given to him. They gave him alcohol to drink. He said, Arey Baba, I got the Nobel Prize for doing the work of Raman's, uh, Raman's uh, effect on uh, alcohol. These guys are trying to give, but that is the alcohol effect on Raman. <laughs> so Raman was such a devout, very strong individual who performed science without anybody's support. Such individuals never inhibited by any mundane reality of the world. And they must be supported without asking questions. But that is a very small percentage, you know. Number of scientists belonging to Raman category is very small. So we should now worry about, government should worry about what Ramasamy should not end up doing. Not what Raman. All the time when we discuss in our uh, gatherings of this kind, we think about Raman as an example. But I think we should, uh, DST characters to Ramasamis, not Ramas Raman. I think J.C. Bose, Raman, uh, S.N. Bose, Ramanujan, they are fantastic guys. 
they occur. They occur as a phenomenon. But I think that number of people, it is estimated there are 10 Einsteins living in this country at any given time. But they don't come anywhere near. The system has a lossy system. We lose them. Raman survived in spite of the loss. But the sad part, I'll finish with this, that is for younger people it's important. This is Raman. When the Nobel Award was announced, I saw it as a personal triumph, an achievement for me and my collaborators, a recognition for a very remarkable discovery. For reaching the goal I had pursued for seven years, when I sat in the crowded hall and I saw the sea of Western faces surrounding me, I, the only Indian in my turban and close coat, it dawned on me that I was really representing my people and my country. I felt truly humble when I received the prize from King Gustav. It was a moment of great emotion, but I could restrain myself. Then I turned around and saw the British Union Jack under which I had been sitting. It was then I thought, realized that my poor country, India, did not even have a flag of her own. It was this that triggered me on my complete breakdown. It is Raman as the number five system. My sincere request is change it. Win the Nobel Prize for Union, for tricolors, not Union Jack.